Hi friends, I am Yashwadhan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, in this video, let us see how we can simulate, uh, how we can establish simulate a network containing of a server and which is and uh, and five systems connected to that server. All we or else in a simpler words, we are just trying to establish the connection as well as then send the packets between the devices to do this first of all let us connect five pcs so let me go to here select the some pcs like two let us say let's take only five pcs at a time three four and also this is the fifth pc we also need a server just select the server ones and in order to connect all these and to this we need the switch so to go to network devices in that go to switches take this 2950 switch box these are the things huh? now go to connections select the copper crossover wire select this go for set fast ethernet 0 right click on it and click fast ethernet 0 by 1 now similarly sele again select the same wire go to here set fast ethernet 0 and second port similarly again select this go to here fast ethernet 0 and uh, 0 by 3 go to here fast ethernet 0 and 0 by 4 similarly echo last one fast ethernet 0 and that should be connected here fast ethernet 0 by 5 now we need to make a connection between the server and the switch to do that just select this device go to here fast ethernet 6 go to here and fast ethernet 0 now the connections have been made now let us configure this server as well as to pc so first of all select the server right click on the server go to config in the in the default gate uh, go to fast ethernet in default gateway give the IP addresses 192.160a.1 and after that you can give some any number like 101 or 102 or 301 or 201 etc that is the uh, that is the IP the unique IP address or the unique number that changes for each and every system let me for, for this example let me take it as 201 and when you press enter you get a subnet mask also now go to services in the services go to dhcp in the default gateway by default it will be 0 .0 .0 .0 .0. remove that and type the same ip address which you have developed in the which you have typed in the uh, configuration that is 160 .1 201 yeah. similarly and uh, IP address to start from 192.168.1 and 201 and click enter now once you uh, and the number of total number here is let us say it is only 20 or if you want you can get some 30 also let to for this example I will take maximum 20 20 devices then you need to click on save in order to save this connection now okay now you see that everything has been saved now in order for this in order for this PC to access this connection you need to click on this service on that is on this service server or oh, and the DHCP is, is services on now close this tab select the first PC in this go to desktop go to ip configuration let me type the and instead of static keep it in dhcp now it will request the ip address to the server and by the server it will give some unique ip address as we want uh, so we have instructed the server to start assigning the ip address from 201 so it is uh, start assigning from the next digit that is 192.1.1 .1. this is fixed but the last one is 202 similarly if I click on the second PC go to desktop 
IP config again uh, keep it in DHCP pass it to request and it will be 203 similarly go to here go to desktop IP config keep it in DHCP see 204 similarly when if I click on this go to desktop IP config DHCP 205 and finally uh, if I click on this go to desktop I go to here and I will click here see you will observe it is 192.168.1.206 now the IP the the server has assigned the unique IP address to each system now let us check if we are if we are able to send the package among this system so first of all select this go to uh, select the PC go to desktop in that go to command prompt and write the command like ping 192.168.1. Dot dot let us see as we have started from 202 and we want to access suppose let us say PC2 which is 202 this is our last this is 202 this is our 203 then this will be 204 this is only an example that I am taking but in general we have more number of system and each one has a unique IP address and you click enter you will observe see you will observe now that it has uh, sent four packages and it's here similarly if you want you can even ping the whole thing that is you can directly ping the IP address of this server that is 192.168.1. dot instead of 204 let us say it is a 201 only now it will uh, it will send this package to the server and also that also is possible similarly if you want you can not only do the same with pc0 you can do it with pc3 also pc2 also pc1 also etc and now you, now friends you have understood how you are able to connect how you are able to select configure a server in order to assign unique ip address to each and every system and how you are able to communicate the package between one uh, between the system as well as between the system and the server if you have any doubt related to this topic please feel free to comment that down below if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel to see more such video if you like my explanation please like, like this video share it with your friends and do subscribe my channel and, and if you are really interested in electronics please see the other videos which are already in me and i will meet you again thanks for watching friends and i will meet you again in a new video with a new concept until then have a nice day thank you